from a traffic stop that turned into chaos. Get out the vehicle! Get out the vehicle! To an arrest over a broken taillight. These are four corrupt cops harming unarmed suspects. Disclaimer, all content in this video is for general educational purposes only. Raleigh police were in pursuit, tailing a suspect, Braley Andres Batista Concepcion, who allegedly caused havoc on Wake Forest Road and Wingate Drive. 214 Raleigh, I got the uh, hit and run suspect vehicle here on Navajo. The scene unfolded as officers apprehended Braley and his three passengers on Navajo Drive. Turn off the vehicle right now. Turn off the vehicle. Turn off the vehicle, man. Put your hands on the steering wheel. The officer's commands flew like confetti at a parade, demanding Batista Concepcion shut off the vehicle and get out. The officer's handling of his hair was pretty damn disgusting, as he didn't even let Braley talk with him. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Get off the vehicle. Get off the vehicle. 217 step it up. Nah, get out the vehicle. 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 Stay in the vehicle. Get out the vehicle. Get out the vehicle. Get out the vehicle. As tensions rose, so did the physicality, with another dirty cop eventually pulling up and resorting to a good old fashioned belly flop to subdue Braley. Get out the vehicle! Get out the vehicle! Right now! Get out the vehicle! Right now! Get out the vehicle! Let go! Let go! Now get out the vehicle! Put your hand behind your back! Get your hand behind your back now. Right now. Oh, you'll never On your belly. On your well, belly. Front, well, front, well. Amidst the commotion, one officer, clearly flustered, struggled to comprehend the situation, spouting out a weird mix of commands and concerns about potential hidden weapons. It was a scene straight out of a very weird B-rated action film. The action being more slapstick than suspenseful in this case. What happened? Yes. Yes, grab him, grab him, grab him. He fled from the vehicle. Sit down! Sit down on the curb! Sit down! I don't know. Should be a heavy set male, heavy set male, Hispanic, light skin. Sit down! Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. 125, what's your location? Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Hey, put your hands up on the door. You say 95. Out. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Meanwhile, Batista Concepcion, with a face that's seen better days, insisted he's never had a run-in with the law before. The police officers had used a lot of unnecessary force, and they should have been kept in check. His face was all bloodied up without cause, even when he was being compliant. Yeah, you should arrest me. You are under arrest. For what? Well, I don't know all the charges yet, but uh, at the very min- hold on, hold still. At the very minimum, for resisting delay and obstruct, I'm gonna have you lean against this car, okay? I get my sweat a little, I ain't gonna... I'm gonna leave it just like this until EMS yeah, yeah, yeah. comes and checks you out, okay? Uh, In the end, amidst the chaos and confusion, one thing remains pretty clear. This was no ordinary traffic stop. It was a roller coaster ride of twists, takedowns, and unnecessary force. The Raleigh police officer's actions unfolded in a disturbing way, but the next traumatic confrontation is on another level. Until then, in Solon, Ohio, police on routine patrol observed a red vehicle driving erratically. Upon stopping the car, they identified the driver, Derisha Mitchell. Keep watching to find out how Mitchell was violently manhandled by the officers, all while she remained completely docile. The officer accused Mitchell of reckless driving, cutting off other vehicles, and driving aggressively, in heavy traffic no less, which could have caused accidents. You're driving. When you pulled that little stunt over there, how you cut everybody off and accelerate like a, like a crazy person? I wasn't. Ma'am, there's just traffic heavy here. There's no need for that. That's caused accidents. So I need your license. Okay, what's the, what's the attitude, though, sir? 
Because your driving is horrible. There's no need for it. You could have caused two or three accidents. No, I was just driving so I wouldn't cause no accidents. No, you were driving aggressively. I was getting away from the traffic because you know they, what? Going, they wasn't even going There's to bumper to bumper traffic at 91 at this hour. You should not be driving that way. You were so lucky that you didn't cause an accident. No, I wasn't doing 91. And then the lady was, wasn't even doing the speed limit that I was behind. So I went beside Do you know what the speed limit is right here? It's not what she was doing. She What's was the doing speed limit here? No, it's 25. The driver's license was requested and it was discovered that it had been suspended. All right, I need your license, I need your insurance. I did look sick. Okay. So you said I didn't I just need your license insurance, ma'am. No, I'm asking a I'm allowed to ask questions. I understand that, but I need but your you license. Said I didn't use I need your I license. Did. You didn't do a signal. I, I didn't need... use a signal, no. sir. No. License, did. insurance, please. Okay, that's a license. I don't have insurance. You don't have insurance? I do have insurance. I, I don't have my insurance card with me. Okay. So. Can you bring it up on your phone or no? I need you to step out of the car. Yeah, and I'm actually... Your license is suspended. Okay, my license is done. I just made a payment. It's not... It's Saturday. Well, and then we go by the computer and the computer is suspended. Do you have any paperwork on you? I'll just you so anyway, I need you to step out of the car. Mitchell disputed the accusations and claimed to have paid fees to reinstate the license, but she lacked immediate proof. You said your driver's license, you weren't, you're not aware it's suspended or what's going no, on with okay. that? I, need a, I have to have an SR-22 for my license to be uh, valid. Okay. And I paid it, but by it being a Saturday, it doesn't, it's not going to go through. I got paid yesterday. Okay. Did you so, pay it today or did you pay I it paid, yesterday? I paid it today and it's you not paid it today be, uh, do you have a receipt show that shows you paid it okay all right well you weren't you weren't trying to america marijuana card no i don't you just heard that's going okay but i haven't been smoking okay. uh, i haven't smoking have you had somebody else in your car that's been smoking i had someone else in my car but i haven't been smoking you where else are your place expired my you place is in place i got everything yeah and I, I everything is in the mix of it, it's so much stuff going on. It's like I have the the check in the line is on, so you have to. So pass you have to on. pass that before you can yeah, get the place. Yeah, I have the appointment on Monday. Okay. The officers then searched the vehicle and proceeded to issue citations for the various violations, including the expired plates and suspended license. There was also a marijuana cigarette found in the car, but that was it. Okay, your license uh, is shown suspended, Teresa. There was a marijuana cigarette in the ashtray. Yeah, the ashtray. I'm talking about the pills that you guys are reading. I'm not talking about the That gives us access to the whole car, ma'am. Mitchell asked for the officer's sergeant. However, the situation soon escalated when even the sergeant became agitated and aggressively started handling Mitchell, leading to a physical altercation between the two. Okay, I'll call my sergeant. Our sergeant's right there. He'll be here in like two seconds. We're done here. Stay okay, away from the car. This is my car. Stay away from the car. This is my car. Stay away from the car. Okay, I was getting Joe, get in there. Joe, get in your why truck and go. To, why get in your you truck and go. Touch me? That is so racist. Y'all are so racist. Oh, everything's racist. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what that's all do. it is. That's, that's all, it's only excuse you got. Yeah, that is what The fact do. that you don't have a driver's that's license, no insurance, expired tag. I do have a driver's license. It has nothing to do with anything. It's our fault, right? And he didn't give me my insurance. Where's my, um, where's my driver's license at? That's, that's going to be it to the court. Oh, no. Well, now oh, yeah. you're taking my driver's license. That's, Why would you take my driver's license? Property of State I of Ohio. I never in my life had to go through this with nobody Property of State of Ohio. Why is it property of State of Ohio? Because I it's never suspended. got my driver's license taken. It's suspended. But I never got them taken. Okay, ever. that doesn't you know mean. You know what they were for. But, just because other people don't want to do it the right way but doesn't no, mean we're it's not. It's not the right way. Y'all just racist as fuck. Well. Okay. All right, we're out of here. You know what? We're done. She wants to pull that card. We're out of here. We're out of here. Ma'am, what are you doing? Jesus, you're not getting in the car. You're not getting in this car. Get away from the car. Don't tell me. Get away from the car. Get away from the car. Like I said, shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. No, I'm not going to. Do something. Get away from the car. Ma'am, you're going to get hurt. You have to step away from the vehicle. Get out of the road. Get out of the roadway. Hey! Stop! Get off! Stop! Why is that touching me? Why is that touching me? I didn't do anything! See, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm not. Why did I touch you? Please stop the car. I'm not doing anything. 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 I'm not
raping. It's obstruction okay. and assault okay. on a police officer. Gonna, I didn't touch nobody. You punched me in the face. No, I didn't. You did. Can you get off of me? Stop. The woman was charged with the following. Assault, resisting arrest, obstructing official business, expired plates, driving under suspension, and was indicted on the following. Resisting arrest and assault on a peace officer. Shifting gears from this woman's heated confrontation, we dive into a bizarre case of mistaken identity involving a black man. A whole whirlwind of confusion and chaos as he was caught in the crossfire of a police blunder. In the bustling streets of Michigan City, the stage is set for a classic case of mistaken identity. To hear Kelly, a 26-year-old minding his own business, suddenly found himself thrust into a storm of chaos, set up by none other than the long arm of the law. Yeah, but where, what direction? Because I, I was looking at you earlier. Were you looking at me? You would have seen that I was at a blue house on 9th Street. Okay. You can, well, here's why I'm asking. You. I know, because I just, we just watched the uh, three dudes run. Okay, what they look like? It was uh, the little dudes. Little dudes? One had all blue on, one had, I think, a pink shirt on. Hey, man, we don't do no bitches, <laughs> Come on, now. I got hit by two cars. I have a learning disability. I lost five percent of my brain. All right. So what you're telling me is, is you're gonna you're gonna come back with a ID or something to the state of Indiana by this name. Just be honest with me, man. We're trying to I don't know. I just okay. came Sure. Up here. We'll run with that. The Michigan City police officers spotted Kelly, and they mistook him for a suspect in a suspicious vehicle report. What followed is nothing short of a comedy of errors, as officers badgered Kelly for identification, only to receive a string of false names in return. Hey, could you tell me that I was not with that girl? So then what's your real name? Because now you're, now you're working your way into something else. Okay, so you can tell me your real name, or I can just take you to jail. Make up your mind. My real name is Tahir. I don't get no return. Name and date of birth, bud. That is my date. My, my last name is Kelly. But that is my date of birth. So you still lied. Your name is Benson or Kelly? I just got married. I'm not lying. My, my wife's name is Mary Benson. Why'd you take your wife's last name? But Kelly, bless his brain, seemed to have a bit of trouble remembering his own identity, leading to a comical Abbott and Costello back and forth between him and the officers. It was like a game of cat and mouse, with Kelly doing his best to dodge the cops' relentless questioning. As tensions rose, Kelly made a daring attempt. He just wanted the pointless interrogation to end, as the police had clearly mistaken him for someone else. The result? Well, let's just say Kelly's face met the unforgiving embrace of the concrete, leaving him far worse for wear. We are just, we're just gonna. All right, man. Turn around. Despite protests from Kelly's family and ongoing investigations, the police seemed content to just sweep the whole thing under the rug, declaring the matter settled. But for Kelly, the scars, both physical and emotional, will linger long after the dust has settled. Yeah. Well, he told me what his name was, and I wasn't getting no return. Then he told me what his he said his name was Benson. Then he said his name was Kelly. Yeah. So then I went back, tried, and was going to talk to him again, and then he ran. Oh, I mean, what if he matched the description? Though? Oh, How did you see that? He was trying to ditch it out of his hand. Okay. Ditch what? Nothing. You see how, see how fast he made it over here, over here by the time he got over here? Yeah. Yeah, he was. So it was. If you just want to come up here, that'd be great. He's got to go with you guys. He got tased and he did a front flip and hit his face. And so he's, his face is pretty, he's bloody on the face and everything. In the end, one thing is absolutely clear. This wasn't just a case of mistaken identity. It was a prime example of police overreach and incompetence. And poor Tahir Kelly? Well, let's just say he's probably reconsidering his choice of jogging route for the foreseeable future. Brace yourself for another troubling incident where an officer used obviously inappropriate force on an innocent woman over nothing more than a broken taillight. In an incident on January 31st, 2019 that has sparked outrage and raised questions about police conduct, a Richmond police officer is under investigation by the Texas Rangers following a troubling arrest captured on dash cam and body cam footage. How you doing, ma'am? My name's Austin. I'm going to put you over here. Should you drive a side picture? Oh, yeah, you got a little bite off. Yeah, I'm going to put you over here. 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 Yeah, I
request a bathroom. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. No, turn around. No, turn around. Get out. Turn around. Get out. Turn around. Get out. Turn around. Turn around. What Officer Bradley McNeil did next was shocking. Just over a broken tail light? Really? McNeil is seen pulling Moreno out of her vehicle and swiftly forcing her to the ground, leading to her being charged with assaulting an officer. What the f did I do? What the f did I do? Turn around. What did I do? Turn around. What the f did I do? Turn around. What the f what the f did I do? Give me a pull my god damn it! However, the situation turned when Moreno's attorney, Wilvin Carter, highlighted concerns about McNeil's actions. Subsequently, Moreno was cleared of the charges, shedding light on some pretty obvious misconduct by Officer McNeil. In response to the incident, Richmond police launched an internal investigation with the Texas Rangers involved. Currently, Officer McNeil has been placed on leave with pay pending further examination of the case.